I get a lot of responses to my tweets. A lot of them are mean, like really mean. But I'll just let you read those on your own time. Today, I'm going to respond to some of the most interesting arguments against my tweets. Now, I tweeted, who else thinks ending poverty on Earth is more important than billionaire space tourism? Well, this got a lot of response. This is from L.E. May, who says, Bezos just gave Chef Andre $100 million and another $100 million given to another organization to feed the hungry. Okay, so what? I mean, for context, that's less than what Bezos makes in a day. And if we actually had a tax system that taxed his wealth, we wouldn't need his philanthropy. It's, it's pure public relations for billionaires like Bezos to cover up their exploitive business practices and shield their wealth. Okay, here's one from John Woods. For a smart guy, Robert, you say some ignorant things. It's not just space tourism, it's space period. You end poverty through jobs, not handouts, and the industry of space will produce jobs. Really? Space jobs? What are we talking about? Space jobs? Whatever jobs the industry of space is going to create won't be realized for years, if not decades. Right now, in the United States, really, on Earth, we've got a huge amount to do to take care of our people. We've got roads to build and sewers, pipes, and we've got daycare and childcare. Why don't we do that? And if Bezos or any other billionaire actually paid their full taxes, we could finance those jobs. So let me get this straight. Elon Musk increased his wealth by $6 billion in one day this week, but Tesla can't afford to let auto workers unionize? Got a response from Martin Muldoon, who said, I'm a fan, Robert, but Tesla employees are benefiting enormously from stock options. I know that's what they all say, but in this case, it is true. Oh, come on. Elon Musk became the second richest person in the world after illegally threatening to take away stock options if employees unionized, and firing staff after telling them they could take unpaid time off. The only way employees, whether they are in Tesla or any other company, actually protect themselves, have safe working environments, actually get a real good deal over long term, is if they're unionized, they have power. Here's another one from Douglas Carr. Great pay, great benefits, and employee stock options. Why is a union necessary? Well, let me tell you why a union is necessary. Tesla has had 43 workers' rights violations filed against it since 2010. All workers benefit from the protection of a union, no matter their workplace. If Musk is so proud of his great working conditions, why is he so afraid of letting Tesla workers unionize? Hmm? Here's another one I tweeted. Let's set the record straight. There is no labor shortage. There is a living wage shortage. Okay, that prompted uh, some tweets. Uh, this is from uh, some guy. So you admit a living wage leads to higher unemployment. Excuse me, paying people more doesn't lead to higher unemployment. In fact, a recent report just found that states that ended unemployment insurance early saw no significant rise in employment. And consumer spending dropped as a result, which is terrible for the economy. If wages at the bottom rise because employers need to pay more to get the workers they need, that's not a problem, that's a victory, right? Uh, that's it for this roundup of Reich Replies. Thanks to all of you who are engaging with our tweets with some real thought. Uh, to some of you with the less thoughtful responses, let's take a deep breath in and out. In and out. In and out.